Okay, part two of Don't Let It Break Your Heart. Uh, we just left off at the um, all right. Start off with that. That's gonna be uh, I'll do the left hand first. It's easy. Left hand's gonna be octaves. It's gonna be G sharp, and then it's gonna be E, and that's it. So it's. Play that again. So basically, it's during slow. So it's slow. Yeah, burning time. So that's simple. That's just octaves. Easy. Now, the right hand, I kind of did that by ear because all the book gave me was these notes. So I kind of made up my own little chords here. What I do is I play E flat and B with my right hand. This is middle C, B flat. Sorry, B and E flat. And basically I go. I kind I play the B with the E. It, it might not sound as good. You, you can keep the B in there. It sounds a little. Either way, E flat and B, then E and B. So. Then you play B, E flat, and F sharp. Then move the F sharp up to a G sharp. All right, so. Flat kind of makes it sound a little different, so you can just play B and I play I play with the E flat. Then you're gonna play E, B, and G sharp, and keep that chord there. All right, so slowly. Now it says when, when it says we're running tie uh, uh, or burning tide, I like to add the C sharp in there, so it's a burning. So add the C sharp in there, and then you just play that again. All right, so with left hand, it sounds something like this. You go back to the verse part. Uh, or you play that riff wherever you want. Um, so I usually play it once. Um, but that's that part. It's pretty simple once you get used to it. It seems harder. Um, but if you just want to do the notes, it's kind of it's just. Back to the verse, and then you hit the chorus again. Uh, so the chorus is pretty simple. Obviously. This time though, you're gonna play the chorus twice. So you'd go, so after you finish doing you go. And you just do it again. So you play it twice. Alright. So to quickly, we'll quickly do that and play that. I'll play that with it so you can see and hear how it's supposed to sound. Do that. I just realized, uh, if you just play the E flat and the G sharp, that sounds a little bit better. Don't have the B in that, so. Now 
sounds a little bit better. Alright, then on to the chorus. So I'll show you how that's supposed to play. C sharp. Now this is where you go back to the C sharp. This is the same thing as the uh, slowly burning tide part. Um, same notes. I play it up here. You can play it back down here again. Um, uh, left hand is different. Instead of the G sharp and then the E, you're gonna play B. This is middle C. You're gonna play B octaves, E flat, G sharp, then E. So it's the same uh, chord progression as, as as the verse. play it up here and this time it is a little different but it's it's the same exact thing as before it's but this chord right here I play C sharp B and G sharp or no, is it yep C sharp B G sharp and then I play the E B and G sharp So this one are different if you're going to play the notes alone. It's going to be... So they're going down to a B, you're going to go to a C sharp. So before it was... We're running time. Now it's... And same thing. So that part again, and just real slowly we'll do. Then C sharp, B, G sharp. And then this. Alright. I forgot about the ending, so I'm gonna go on to that next. So with that part, I sound like this. The synth. No, I don't know what the synth is, but the piano in the background. Um, for the first chord, it says uh, it says you just play a um, C sharp, B, G sharp, and F sharp. But that doesn't sound too good, so I usually don't play that. Um, and it just be with an E. So you can go E flat, uh, two two E's octaves. All right, next chord is gonna be, with the right hand, it's gonna be B, F sharp, and D sharp. And you're gonna play that with F sharp octaves. Just like this. Then you're gonna keep the F sharp octaves, and you're gonna, in your right, right hand, you're gonna play C sharp, F sharp, A sharp. So. Now, F sharp octaves in your left hand are going to move down to a D sharp. Your right hand is going to play so the same exact chord, but you're going to add a D sharp in there. So, right, so 
the right hand moving from chord to chord. So. Yeah. I think he's rattling. Alright, so with the, with the chords, so. Now, left hand is going to go up from the D sharp to an E. Left hand is going to play the chord you played before. Two B octaves, middle C, two B octaves, E, F sharp. Now, you're going to keep the B's, but you're going to move this E. I'm sorry, you're going to play B, E, F sharp. Is, that's a G sharp, not an F sharp. B, E, G sharp, E, not B. Scratch that. So that F sharp. B, E, G sharp, B. Next chord, you're going to move the E down to a D sharp, and the G sharp down to an F sharp. Then you go back up to the same chord you had before. So you're kind of just going back and forth. Right, so it's B, E, B, G sharp. Down to B, D sharp, F sharp, and B. And then back up to the same chord before. B, E, G sharp, B. And the left hand with that is going to go, so you are at E. Now you're going back down to D sharp, then back up to E. And then you start all over again. So now you'll play the uh, D flat, D sharp, sorry, D sharp, F sharp, and B with the F sharp in the left hand. sharp, then go down to C sharp, and your left hand you're going to play C sharp, sorry right hand, C sharp, E, G sharp, and B. So, so. C sharp, E, G sharp, B, the left hand just sound like I'll start from the beginning and play it slow. So you start off like this. Add that D sharp in there, move down to D sharp in the left hand. says for don't let it break your heart is like your heart is like that I don't like the way it sounds so what I do is I just end right there I go don't let it break your heart then up here I'll just play octaves and I do the uh That's what I do in my cover, and uh, that's just a vocal line, but higher.
depend on a bee. That's what I do. Um, people do different ways. Um, but that's it. If uh, that's it for "Don't Let It Break Your Heart," it's a great song. It's probably my favorite on the album. Um, it's, if you're sad and feeling down, it's a great song to jump and dance to like like an idiot. Um, so that's it. If you have any questions, please comment or anything. Um, try to go as slow and as fast as I could. Um, if you're a slow learner, pause the video and just you got you got to try it yourself. It's really hard to. It comes easy to me to learn stuff, and it's really hard to sometimes teach certain things. So please forgive me for that. You just gotta try to take everything slow, and I'd rather rather have it be slow than fast, because I see a lot of fast videos on YouTube, and it, it's annoying because you have to pause them. At least with me, it's or hopefully it's actually too slow, and it kind of gets you mad. Anyway, I'm done rambling. Um, that's it. And hopefully be looking forward to some other songs coming soon. Um, and if everyone asks, this is the the pop-up edition of MX. So, yes, we can leave looking with that, looking at that. Beautiful. Oh, Up of the Birds. Hmm, maybe that song will be next. I don't know. All right, thanks for watching, and uh, keep playing. Thank you.